Right, a very good afternoon to you all. I hope we're all good. It's Monday, the 18th of December 2023, and we're here once again. This is update six, looking at the potential for our snow chances in the UK in the lead up to, cr to Christmas, but especially on the big day itself. So what we're actually doing with this forecast, and we're keeping things consistent, we start off by taking a look at the pressure. We take a look at the temperature anomalies across Europe. We then take a look at the 850 HPA temperature profiles, the body of the air mass. We then take a look at a specific run, which is the six o'clock GFS run that runs every day, looking at the precipitation patterns across the UK in the lead up to Christmas. And then we verify it all with a check of the ensembles to see what the confidence in that forecast is. Had some really good feedback from it, and I think we're all starting to enjoy it. We're starting to get a feel for, you know, the whole weather pattern, the evolution of it, and obviously the confidence and just shows the changes that are taking place in the atmosphere um, before, you know, the big day arrives. It just gives us an idea of just how complex everything is. So without further ado, let's move all this along and we'll start where we have done looking at the pressure patterns. So long forecast, high pressure now is to the south of the UK with low pressure now just to the north of the UK up towards Iceland. Now we've got quite a mild southwesterly air mass running across the country at the moment, very mild in fact. And if we take a look at the upper air, or should we say the temperature anomalies temperatures are several degrees above normal parts of the uk six or seven degrees above normal so we're in the low teens for many parts of northeast england today but of note towards scandinavia i think we've mentioned that for several weeks now it's been sub-zero up there and today well things have really really started to warm up big thaw in operation got a really interesting little time lapse um, of Stockholm or the area near Stockholm in a moment just showing how things have changed in the last few days so, so that'll be there in a minute but what we do you don't escape the jet stream profile when you're on one of my forecasts and this is the reason why it's very mild today we've drawn up a long fetch southwesterly all the way from the Azores coming up across the UK into Scandinavia now it is very cloudy and that's due to the fact that this air mass is moist, it's picking up cloud, it's picking up moisture, and yeah, obviously it's then condensing to the north, it's bringing outbreaks of rain drizzle, but yeah, just everywhere, it's just a really cloudy, quite miserable day, sunshine, very, very limited. Right, I'm going to show you now the, um, the, the time lapse or the sequence from Scandinavia, just to show just how cold it has been up in Scandinavia, southern Scandinavia, well, the whole of Scandinavia for the last month. And I'm going to take you to Salem Golf Club, which is in Stockholm, or should I say probably about 50 miles to the south of Stockholm. And what we're going to do is we're going to run through the sequence of how things have looked for the last month. So we start on the uh, the 24th of November. Back then it was all, you know, autumn was still in the air, but we'll run this sequence forward. It arrived winter on the 25th of November. And then just day by day, watch how things just went so wintry up there. 25th of November, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. That was the end of November and we went into December. Very, very snowy up there. So I'm just going to run through. I'm not going to speak, but just you can see the cursor on the bottom, which was showing the date. So, yeah, just watch this. Really interesting. Right, four days ago, the air started to turn into the west. Uh, and then yesterday, the milder air arrived. Look at that. The thaw began and today it's virtually gone. So it just shows how quick an Atlantic-based air mass can, uh, can be in melting snow, even in Scandinavia. Right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to take a look at the pressure patterns for the week to see if it's still on track. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll just start off. And already, look at that. Tomorrow, you'll see that that area of high pressure has transferred into the Atlantic and it's opening up the gate now to more west or northwesterly air mass. And this marks the change from the very mild to the less mild and then 
potentially cold outlook. So this is Wednesday, this is Thursday, this is Friday, and this is Saturday. So yeah, by Saturday the 23rd, if you've been following the forecast, that is the day, the onset of the cold. And I think it's probably fair to say that based on this morning's run, that is still the case. Cold air, or should I say low pressure, uh, towards the northeast of Scotland, starting to usher in more of a west or northwesterly MS, but at that stage still fairly mild across the south of the UK. Right, what we're now going to do is we'll take a look at the 850 HPA temperatures. These are the ones that we have been watching. I'm not going to have a look at all the stuff in the preceding days. We're going to get straight to the 23rd. That's the day of change. And remember that we're generally looking for t uh, 850 HPA temperatures around about minus five, minus six, to, to bring the air mass cold enough to at least raise the potential for snowfall across the UK. Obviously, you need the moisture, you need a front, you need convection in order to get precipitation, but this is a good start of a 10. So here we go. This is Saturday the 23rd. Cold air now starting to invade into the north of Scotland, mild across the south. So that's the scene on Saturday the 23rd at 3 in the afternoon. Push it forward to Christmas Eve and once again, yeah, there we go. The cold air is in place across the UK. We just have a check of those 850 HPA temperatures and it looks cold enough, doesn't it? Minus 6 across many parts of the Midlands, northern England. Pushing up towards Scotland, minus sevens, minus sixes. Yeah, so, yeah, it's looking cold. And even for the south coast, where we've been struggling to get close to this minus five uh, air temperature, it actually is getting close down there. So it's looking as if the cold air has infiltrated the country on Christmas Eve. Right, let's have a look at Christmas Day, because previous chart charts have been showing Mild air starting to push in. What's it looking like today? Well, yeah, um, the mild air is trying to get in, but it's not really making too much progress, is it? At this stage, at three o'clock on Christmas Day, it's looking as though the UK is cold. Parts of Scotland have got these 850 HPA temperatures of minus seven, minus eight, even minus fives and minus sixes right down. Uh, minus four across the south of England, so marginal, but yes, cold. So that is uh, a step in the cold direction based on this morning's run. Um, so yeah, what we're now doing is we will take a look at the WX charts to see how this is going to play out. Is there any precipitation in the mix and will it fall as snow? So this is the chart we all like. We're going to come back to today so we can see that, yet yeah, today's the 18th. And that little line across Northern Ireland, Scotland, that's that long signalled weak cold front that is the kind of start of things, um, you know, just starting to turn things a little bit cooler across Scotland. But yeah, tomorrow is again looking like a very wet day across many parts of central and southern England. That pushes out the way. We're then in a run of west northwesterly breezes from tomorrow evening. Plenty of showers packing into the north and the west of the UK, Northern Ireland, down through um, Cumbria, Lancashire, parts of the Cheshire Gap. Wednesday is looking like a breezy day, mainly dry for England and Wales. Further heavy showers across the north of the UK, wintry over those Scottish mountains. Push forward to Thursday, once again a breezy day, lots of rain showers. Remember these were the two mild days, weren't we? Around about the 20th to the 22nd was always going to be relatively mild and quite showery. But by Friday the 22nd, it's looking as though some cooler air is already starting to get into the north of Scotland and there will be wintry showers appearing at least for a time on Friday across those Scottish mountains rain showers further south let's run forward through to saturday the 23rd that was the day the polar front was going to be coming through wasn't it which was then going to mark the boundary between the relatively mild air and this cold spell that's coming down and i think it's still there it's again slightly delayed but there is the cold front look at this line i'm going to get the cursor on that and just where did we go? That teacher to move it, Steve. Right. Yeah, so there's the line. That's the cold front. That's sitting across the north of England. And that is marching southwards on Christmas Eve, bringing colder air in from the northwest. 
with plenty of sleet or snow showers. So very much on track, aren't we, for this cold spell on Christmas Eve to be probably affecting most parts of the country. But midday on Christmas Eve, it's looking like those snow showers will still, as we've seen in previous charts, be mainly restricted to the western parts of the UK from Wales northwards. Later on in the day, those showers appear to be sort of like pegged back to the far northeast. Again, more snowfall of parts of Scotland going into the big day. So, yeah, we're it's within our sights now. As things stand, it's looking like Scotland is in for at least the chance of a white Christmas. Right, midday on Christmas Day, here comes that front pushing in from the southwest. That's going to be trying to bring the milder air now if we've spoken about this previously quite often what you get is you get the boundary between the cold air in situ and mild air coming in you get a bit of a battleground and where you get the leading edge of this sometimes you get a rain sleet and snow event the the rain is actually preceded with a band of snow and by the end of the 25th it's looking as though that band of rain will be pushing into the south west of England um, with some snow coming into Ireland on its leading edge. Let's run this forward through six hours later. And wow, that's a shocker, isn't it? Um, you've got that band of well rain or mild rare trying to push in from the southwest. But it looks like it's hitting the cold air over parts of Wales, central and southern England to give a snow event as well as parts of Ireland. So that is a huge change. There's always the risk when you bring these fronts in against cold air, you get these battle zones and this is where you get your snow events. So yeah, that is a bit of a twist, I would think, in the plot, but it's being shown. So it's not without the realms of possibility. And then we run that through to six o'clock on oh, a Boxing Day morning. That band of sleet, rain and snow then clears out the way. So all very interesting and then by boxing day it looks as though we are still cold let's just go back to the um where were we let's see um how that's now looking on boxing day yeah so boxing day is now looking like a a cold day it looks like that mild attack from the southwest will struggle based on this morning's runs how well is that going to verify? So what we now do is we'll take a look at the ensembles. We're going to look at those 850 HPA temperatures and see if there is any confidence in that. Well, looking at this chart, we're looking really at the minus five line. And it's fair to say there are a number of members down there. That thick green line that you can see, that was the operational run. That's the one we've just seen on that WX chart from just a moment ago. So that is showing the cold arriving down in London on the 24th and then persisting through the 25th, the 26th, and then warming up somewhat from the 27th. And there are some other members down there, but again, confidence can't be too high. There are still a fair number of perturbations painting a less cold picture. So we go on another day, I think. I think we'll be back here tomorrow to take a look at that again. Let's move northwards towards Manchester to see how confidence in the cold spell is transpiring up there. Again, I think once again, you've got this general lowering in temperature around the 24th. Uh, that drop there across those ensembles early on the 24th is starting to show up with some quite good agreement, a bit of a cluster there. It's a little bit uncertain after that, but there are, in my opinion, enough of number of lines below that minus five, eight fifty line to suggest that there is relatively good confidence for a cold spell now transpiring. And if we go to Inverness, well, yeah, Inverness has always been colder. You'd expect it. It's in Scotland. Uh, it's more sort of prone to northerlies and. It's really generally rather cold up there from the 20th, apart from a couple of milder blips. It is relatively cold for the Scottish hills, mountains. And I think once we now take a look at the snowfall spikes, we'll probably see a bit of an uptick for Scotland. Right now, let's go and take a look at those snow depths. So we go to London. This is the, the grand finale. And well, there you go. <laughs> Not much in offer. So the six o'clock run didn't really get too much report in terms of snowfall for London. So things as they stand still looking like it's going to be a green Christmas for many parts of southern Britain rather than a white one. But 
as we've seen, the potential is close on this morning's run. Um, we'll go now towards the Manchester area and take a look at your snow spikes. And, well, there you go. I think if you, again, it's uh, the, the, the probability of snowfall has increased somewhat across Manchester in the last 24 hours. Some fairly decent spikes appearing on the 24th through to the 26th. Confidence is still low. You've got to think there are 32 spikes available when there's only ever probably half a dozen at any one time. But compared to yesterday, I think that's a little bit of an uptick. Confidence for snowfall has increased. And finally, over towards Inverness up there in Scotland. And well, looks to me like they're going to pretty much be in the winter sort of conditions from the 22nd snowfall regularly on most days from the 22nd through to the 27th and 28th and even moving into the new year the cold remains so it's looking as though the cold air will come down now across christmas eve to affect most parts of the uk there will be a battle as warmer air tries to get in looks like it's possible that there will be a snowfall event somewhere across the uk Doubtful whether that mild air will get north towards Scotland. So lots to keep an eye on. So once again, I think I will be back again tomorrow to take a look at the snow chances. Then that will be, I think, update seven. So it's keeping us on our toes. And this is no doubt going to go to the wire. I'm going to wrap this all up now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, all a bit of fun. If you do like it please do give us a share and a subscribe. It will go a very long way. Ciao for now.